So, hi everybody. So, my name is Juan and Kalesh. So, we are going to be talking about uh, how to bring up uh, devices with existing k sizes, right? So, as of now, uh, we already have eight pixel devices working with existing k sizes, and we have a developer option that you can switch the device to 4K to 16K kernel. Sure. So, let me go to. So basically, it's like in this slide, you can see like the Android stack, right? So at the bottom, we have the Linux kernel, and the top, we have the applications. And the question is like, which of these layers need to be changed in order to support 16K page sizes, right? So let's see. So here in this slide, basically the layers in green, they have to be changed, right? And that includes also the dark green. So everything, right? So, so the, but don't don't worry. We we did a lot of work. So, and I, I forgot the bootloader. So we need to change also the bootloader. So the, a, a interesting question is why all these layers need to be changed, right? Why I mean, why why do we have to do so many so much heavy lifting, right? And what uh, and here. We can see, like for example, the RBA the RBA architecture support four exception levels, right? And this every exception level, you can configure different page size. So you can have the secure world using 4K page size, the kernel that runs in EL1 using 16K page size, and then the hypervisor. I mean, you in, you can configure it with 16.4K page size, right? The architecture doesn't limit you, and if you are supporting second stage translation. Then you can have different page size in in that area, right? And here is the question: like, if you have to share buffers between different exception levels, it's like, which? How do you share information, right? So, and this is in this slide. Basically, we have a SOC, right? So in this SOC, in this SOC, it's like on the on the top we see some ARM cores and the different like TTBRs to uh, basically that point to the page tables. But at the bottom, we see several devices, right? Most of the devices Linux can talk with, with them without any problem. But the tricky ones are the ones like, for example, the root of trust. They, I mean, in order to talk with them, you have to issue a SNC call. And then it's like you need to, I mean, and once you issue the SNC call, you can talk with the root of trust. Another device that you might run into issues is the IUMMU. Right, that yeah, you you have to configure several things in the IMMU in uh, in order for the Linux kernel to use it, right? So, so let's see how how we can fix all these issues in the different layers, right? So he, here's the first thing: like if you have issues in the bootloader because you want um, uh, you want to share like memory between EL1 and EL3, it's like how do you work share memory? So basically, the the ARM documentation mentioned that, okay, the buffer has to be a multiple of the uh, larger granule size, right? So that's, that's the first like, thing that you have to do when you share memory between different exception levels. Then the next thing is like the base address has to be multiple of the, of the larger granule. And the, and the third requirement is like, how do you tell the different exception level how, uh, the size of the buffer? So the arm, the, the other document mentioned that you need to use 4K counts. So basically, you're going to share 32 meg. You divide 32 megs by 4K, and basically, that's going to give you the number, the, the number of 4K counts that you're going to share. And in this slide, you can see an example. You, you, I mean, we don't have enough time, but you can take a look later, so how to calculate it. And then it's like, in this slide, we have, how, how do we fix issues with the IUMMU, right? So when we were bringing up like the pixel devices, we were running issues with the IUMMU, but, and what we found after a lot of pain is like, they were using the page on the score size, like macro from the kernel to configure the IUMMU. But it turns out that when we com compile the kernel with 16K, it's like, the IUMMU didn't support 16K, so basically it's like the, the quick fix is just declare a macro where you define the page size that the IUMMU uses, and that, that solves the problem. The other issue is with the contiguous memory allocator. 
So that many drivers require to, to reserve memory at boot time. But if they are using CMA, the, it, it basically you have to have some, uh, uh, you have to keep in mind that with CMA and 4K page sizes, the, the memory that you can reserve is multiples of four megabytes for 4K page sizes. But for 16K page sizes, you need to, uh, you need to reserve mul multiples of 32 megs. So it's something that you have to keep in mind. We are going to talk about that in the, in the presentation in the memory main track. And also another issue that we found is like, in many drivers, when they allocate, when they allocate memory, li literally they pass cons constants as the order, right? So in, the, in this example that I put here is like, they, are, they want to reserve like 256 kilobytes and they pass the orders as a order six. So in a 4K system, yeah, that's 256 kilobytes, but in a 16K system, it's one max. So it's, I mean, we discovered this because we couldn't explain several memory increases, and then we discovered, oh yeah, these drivers are allocating more memory than they need. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the, the next issue that we found is in the block layer. So basically, I, here, here is the problem, like, when you issue a, a request to the hardware devices, it's like you need to build a, a, BIOS, a, BIOS, a, a request object, and then that request object is going to have a, a, a pointer to a bio, and that bio is going to have a, back, a, a bio back with pointers to the different pages that contains the data. And these pages con uh, contain segments. It can contain, uh, I mean, uh, a certain amount of segments, but there is, there, uh, in the kernel, the maximum segment that, is, that has to be supported is equals to the page size. And it turns out that there are some, some UFS host controllers that they don't, they, they don't follow the spec and they didn't support segments equals to the page size. So what, uh, what we have to do is like mod modify the block layer to allow smaller, smaller segments than the page size and the, yeah, and the patches are there. So next question. Uh, yeah. Thanks Juan. Uh, next, uh, I, I will talk about uh, some issues we have when uh, we are migrating the ecosystem Android ecosystem to use larger page sizes. So the way we are introducing the 16 KB page size to the ecosystem is through a developer option in the devices. So in a Pixel 8 device, you can just go to developer options and you toggle a switch and the phone reboots into 16 K kernel. And for this reason, we need the file systems to be interoperable between 4K page size and 16 K page sizes. But most of the file systems, they just assume the, the block size is equal. They just support block size equal page size, or they just assume the page size is 4K. Uh, X, X, XFS and ext 4 they, they, they. Uh, well, that, that turns out to be the case for most of the file systems that Android supports. <laughs> so, Right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, as Matthew said, yeah, there are some file systems that do. Oh, yeah. No. No. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you, probably you don't see this, this issue because when you build the system, you decide, okay, I'm going to build the file system for 4K or for 16K. 
But the, in, in the, for example, in right now in the case that we have, it's like we 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 have the for in the pixel lay device, mm -hmm. you can literally just have one file system, and then you can switch 4K between 16K kernels uh, without changing anything, right? And the file system that supports like different block uh, di uh, different block size is like is X4. So basically, X4 you can you can run with 4K and 16K kernels if you uh, format the block size with 4K. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of the file systems that Android supports, yeah. X4 is the one that works out of the box with block size less than page size. And uh, X, XFS also does, but uh, we don't use that on Android. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. F2FS, uh, we, there was some work to add a 16K block size support to F2FS. But yeah, in this in this mode, we are using ST4 to switch between the the 4K kernel and the 16K kernel. And uh, EROFS is the the file system used for the read-only partitions. And uh, Gao also added uh, support for block size less than uh, than page size in in in, 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 in the EROFS. So some of the issues we had is with uh, certain uh, device hardware, uh, certain uh, device specific hardware. So for example, uh, some devices have a, uh, an accelerator for ZRAM compression. And uh, we found that the, at least in uh, the pixel case, the accelerator doesn't work with a uh, page size uh, greater than 4K. So to walk around this issue, we are in, in this mode, we are simply using a different compression algorithm uh, to, to CPU compression algorithm to to make ZRAM work, and uh, some uh, some of the devices also have uh, the the control registers for the mailboxes are only 4KB aligned, and uh, in this case, uh, how we are fixing that issue is we we simply just use the mailboxes which are 16KB aligned. This uh, this is suboptimal since we have less uh, mailboxes in the 16K mode, but uh, at least we have the, a functional uh, device. And this is just to introduce the uh, uh, to app developers uh, a device that they can test on. So in this case, it's okay. Uh, yeah. So if you remember the the layers that Swan showed earlier, the one of the places is the in the user space. Uh, we have uh, a lot of issues uh, to fix, and these are mostly uh, caused by Android uh, assuming that the or hard coding the ELF uh, segment alignment to 4K in the past. And this was done to save some disk space. Uh, LLVM is using the 64K as the default max segment alignment, but due to some, uh, I, some optimizations in the past, Android made they hard coded it to 4K. So uh, here uh, I, I'll, I'll sh explain why that is an issue. Uh, so in the, in the top, um, I'm just showing the VA space and the page boundaries in 4K. And uh, at the bottom part is showing how an ELF is loaded into the, into the VA space. So for each different uh, segment with different permissions, we need to make sure that it is mm -hmm. on a, a different page uh, so that we don't have overlapping permissions on the same page. But because uh, most of the applications are built with this 4K segment alignment in the ELF, the situation we have on uh, on a 16K device is that we can end up with multiple uh, ELF segments uh, with different permissions on the same page, which, which doesn't work. Uh, so we need, uh, on the ELSP side in the platform, we have already fixed these issues. Uh, so in your device board config, you can simply enable these two options, uh, Bionic no page size macro. That, that just removes an assumption from Bionic, which was uh, page size uh, defined to 4K. And the max page size supported, if you set it to 16K, it's, uh, it, will, it will fix all the ELF segments alignments in the platforms. In, initially, we did uh, try to move to 64K to future-proof against against this, but uh, we ended up with some regressions, uh, which we needed to we need to we need to revert back to 16K. So yeah, we did try to go to 64K initially, but there there were some uh, 
which weren't acceptable for uh, 64k some regressions on in the disk space and the and memory so we think 16k is a sweet spot for now Oh, was a question. Oh, okay. So we're all looking at the camera, going. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Probably wants to be 64k pages. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, so on the vendor side, uh, there is a VT. There are some VTS tests that checks that your ven the vendor uh, elf uh, are also proper have the proper alignment. So, in in the when you are. For the vendor software, you should uh, set this linker flag max space size 16K in order to be uh, uh, compliant with these VTS tests. And uh, some additional uh, changes we needed to do is, is for the same reason we needed to make art uh, compatible with 16K pages. So when art, uh, this is the Android runtime, when it uh, generates the uh, old file, files, which are just L files, we need to make sure that it generates uh, uh, the segments to be 16 KB aligned, so that it's compatible with both 4K and 16K. So th yeah, this work is already done, and uh, is uh, yeah. Some other uh, best practices are to use the get page size instead of assuming 4K, or uh, you know sysconf uh, page size. In Android, uh, also the APKs can have uh, uncompressed uh, shade libraries. Uh, packaged inside of them. And this was done uh, to save some disk space so that we don't have to extract the sh native libraries and also for some security reasons. And the way it works is you, you need to make sure that when you package the uncompressed shared libraries in, in your APK, they must be aligned to, uh, they must be at some page aligned offsets within the, within the zipped APK. And this, this is because of uh, we are the the loader m maps the the library directly from the zipped APK, so the m map offset must be page aligned. So there is a new option in the zip align tool to allow you to specify the page page alignment. It can be 16, 64, and we, yeah, you shouldn't use 4K anymore. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I guess this is. Yeah, uh, with those changes and hopefully the tips that Juan provided for the drivers, uh, hopefully uh, this will be enough for uh, other vendors to also bring up their devices with a 16K, with a 16K kernel. And so, yeah, if you have uh, any The default for binaries generated for in distros page size. If you stick to a 16K page size, you may have encounter kind of bugs and issues that we don't see in mainline distributions. So this will create more pain for you if you uh, really do this. Yeah, uh, yeah, we know the LLVM uh, default max uh, page size is 64K. And we initially, they tried to move to that. But uh, as I mentioned, they, for the embedded devices, there were some regressions which we needed to mitigate. We can see that the big servers it makes sense to align to 64k but the android devices are like they don't have a lot of memory like we have devices with six kilo uh, six gigabytes of memory right or less so when you are like when you align to 64k and then you load the program <coughs> into memory that means that if, if the segments are like less than 64k like let's say that they are uh, 5k so then you are going you are going to waste in memory 64k minus minus five Basically, that's the amount of memory that you're going to be wasting. And Android has a, lo a lot of shared libraries, system libraries, plus all the apps that are going to be loaded. So the waste was massive. We, we have tools that calculate the, the internal fragmentation with 64K alignment, and it was 23% of memory waste. Oh, I, I'm talking about when you load the shared libraries, like there is going to be uh, uh, memory waste bec because you have to, li li there is going to be one area that is not going, uh, uh, is not going to be used, but because the, the, the permissions of uh, the, in the page table, in the page descriptors, they have to be set at page table. So that's the minimum amount of memory that you can require. 
effect. So I'm talking about like if a segment is 4K or 4K size, you have to map it in memory that is 64K. So then you're, you're going to waste the, a lot of memory in the segment. But the yeah, pages, one, but, but but the pages are sixty, sixty four k, right? Sixty four k. Yeah, in a in a in a 4K device that will be true. It will only be yeah. virtual VA space wasted. But in a in a 16K or 16K B device, it's both virtual and physical waste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.